What's up awesome YouTubers, Ry1988 or Justin back here to do a video for you guys and in this video I'm here to show you my updated Blu-ray collection and things I've kind of changed um, last night and this morning. Um, you know I want to do something a little bit different and so the first I'd say maybe first two rows or uh, one and uh, yeah first two rows I've kind of changed around categorized um, my Blu-rays differently and kind of put Digibooks, Steelbooks, Scream Factory editions and ho other horror related um, DVD and Blu-ray uh, companies together and also my Disney Blu-rays together. So I'm going to show those off. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is just my box sets. Um, at one point I had some of my you know box sets or Blu-ray editions in with the collection, but I wanted to make space. I still have a good amount of room, um, but I still wanted to make space and kind of, you know, put, you know, Blu-ray editions and uh, Blu-ray box sets um, that go well together on top. So I'll show you those real quick. Nothing's really changed up here too much. But here we go. Uh, the Mad Man or the Mad Max tin and the Friday the 13th tin. I actually put the uh, Blu-rays themselves in the collection. Um, I thought it'd be easier just kind of pulling them out of the collection instead of just keep having to keep taking them out of the tin. But I love showcasing these, so these are on top. And as you see, there's the Halloween Scream Factory edition. You know that's not in the collection, but uh, I love that set. And the same goes with some of these Arrow editions, like the Hills of Eyes or the Society one. So, nothing really different on top as far as box sets, but I just kind of wanted to show you that layout. Uh, now going into the first row, um, I have it to where the, I first start off with Digibooks, Steelbooks, Scream Factory releases, other horror-related uh, DVD and Blu-ray companies, uh, Criterions as well, and then my Disney collection. So I won't talk about every one of them. I'll just kind of skim through them. But if they're you know six or, or one to six uh, digi books or whatever, I'll you know pull them all out. If that makes sense. So uh, starting here, we got Ghostbusters one and two, and this is all the digi books that I have. Uh, the Halloween 35th anniversary digi book. Uh, I won't pull all these out, but these are the James Dean movies that I have on Digibook format. Uh, one of them being The Giant. Still have yet to watch that one. I've watched the other two, but i uh, got to watch The Giant at some point. Uh, I got the Labyrinth uh, 30th Anniversary Blu-ray Edition Digibook, which is fantastic. The Target Exclusive Man of Steel Digibook. The Poltergeist, the original Poltergeist Digibook. And then the last Digibook I have is the Suicide Squad Target exclusive one. Um, after that is when my Steelbook starts, so I'll just kind of skim through some of these. Um, I also have maybe one or two metal packs in here. I don't really collect a lot of metal packs, um, but the ones I have, they kind of fit well with the Steelbooks, and they really don't stand out too much. So. You know, starting with uh, the Batman, the Killing Joke animated movie. And then I got Batman Begins. And then Batman v Superman. The Civil War Steelbook. And then one of the metal packs, the Commando Best Buy exclusive uh, director's cut and theatrical cut. Uh, then we got the rest of the Dark Knight films. Uh, the other metal pack I own is the Dawn of the Planet of the Apes one from Best Buy. I absolutely love that. Um, got some of my Synapse Steelbooks, which I'll show some more Synapse editions in a minute. But I put all the Steelbooks together. You got Demons and Demons 2. Uh, debating on getting Phenomena and Popcorn. I might get those, though. They're, they're tempting. Um, and I love Steelbooks. If it's a movie I love or really enjoy... I tend to uh, get the steel books or movies that I really want to see. So, uh, the Evil Dead UK Blu ray steel book with a lot of the bonus features that the limited uh, Blu ray uh, Anchor Bay DVD or 
Anchor Bay Blu-ray edition had from the US. Um, has all the bonus features on there. Uh, going through here, I'll just kind of show you some of these. The It Follows Steelbook. Lords of Salem. Got most of the Resident Evils. I do have Resident Evil 5, by the way. It's just in a standard Blu-ray, and it's down on the bottom. Uh, another metal pack I forgot I had, the Super 8 one. Love that. Love that movie. Again, I have the other Terminators. They're just in different for uh, the standard Blu-ray format. And then we're going into my Scream Factories, and I didn't realize how many Scream Factories I actually had until... I pulled them all out, so it's quite a bit. Um, I don't own every one of them. If it's a movie I love or I really want to see or really enjoy, I tend to pick it up. So, just kind of go uh, through these and show just a little bit of them. And I also combine my double feature ones in here, like Bad Dreams and Visiting Hours. But we start with Army of Darkness and just kind of go all the way all the way down. Uh, one of the newest ones was the Black Christmas one. And then just kind of scam through some of these, or skim through. The Jeepers Creepers. Uh, the first one did not come with a slipcover, but I got this for $20 brand new um, compared to a lot of sites which are carrying it for almost $30. And then the second one did come with the slipcover. Uh, the Poltergeist 2 and 3 editions. I love those editions. I got all the slumber parties on Scream Factory now. The newest one, 2 and 3. I watched 2 the other night. It looked great. And then kind of right here, uh, Witchboard. Um, yeah, Witchboard, sorry. Drawing a blank is when it stops. So I don't know if it's perfectly alphabetized. But I tried to make it that way. So if you guys see something out of order, I do apologize. But uh, yeah, it stops at Witchboard when it comes to Scream Factory editions. And then I have two editions of the Vestron releases. Uh, I'm going to be very picky with those. Uh, I'm only going to get movies I've either seen or ones I really want to see. Uh, mostly ones that I've seen that I love. So I only have two of them so far. That is Chopping Mall and Return of the Living Dead 3. I decided to put these on top. I know I'm going to get some more in the future, so might as well just have them in their own category. Uh, then my, uh, I think, I think I have five uh, Synapse Standard Editions. Like I said, I have the Demon ones in the Steelbook format. But, you know, you got Curtains, The Dorm That Drip Blood, Intruder, Maniac Cop, and Prom Night. Uh, then we go to my Blue Undergrounds, you got Maniac Cop 2 and 3, the Prowler, Shockwaves, Stage Fright, I don't have a lot of Blue Underground. Ones I do have, these are movies I really enjoy or love. Um, and then we got my, again, four uh, Vinegar Syndrome releases. But kind of like uh, Vestron, I'm a little bit picky on what I get. I only get ones that I either have seen that I love or ones that I want to see or really want to see. And a lot of the ones I've uh, picked up are movies that I love and that I've seen before. Uh, I cannot wait for Witch Trap. But we got Christmas Evil. Don't Go in the Woods. Graduation Day. And Madman. And then going on the second shelf. Uh, sorry about the lighting. Um, we have my three Code Red releases. And I don't collect a lot of Code Red unless it's a movie I love. Um, or ones that I really want to see, or I have seen. Uh, you got Hide and Go Shriek, Just Before Dawn, Savage Streets. Then I got my small uh, Umbrella releases. Uh, when it comes to Umbrella, I get the region-free ones. I do not have a region-free player yet. So, I again, you know, I select the ones I want. Uh, you got The Blob which was really cheap. I found this on Amazon or eBay for like $14.99 brand new. Uh, Hellbound Hellraiser 2. It's signed by the actress who played Tiffany. Then we got the 1990s Night of Living Dead. I wish I would have got that double feature one, but this one's good. And it's actually has a good amount of special features on it. 
Uh, I think like a few featurettes, but not too bad. This movie's never really had, you know, great bonus features. So happy to own that. And again, I got that really cheap. And then Road Games. Got this for $14.99 on eBay as well. Uh, and then we have uh, the rest of my Arrow editions. I have the Society and the Hills of Eyes one up at the top. But you got Blood Rage. Uh, the very first Arrow editions to come out, uh, Dawn of the Dead. This was the very first one, I believe. It's out of print now. And same with Day of the Dead. These go for, I think, a lot of money. So happy to own those. Uh, Ian Alive, The Initiation, The Mutilator, and then The Stuff. And again, kind of like with a lot of these companies, I'm picky on what the which ones I want, just because they are expensive. But if it's a movie that I love or really want to see or one that I really enjoy, I'll pick it up. Then we got the only Grindhouse release I own. Um, I just put it up here because it fit better uh, compared to putting it in the standard Blu-rays. And that is Pieces. Love it. Uh, again, if it's a movie that I really want to see or love, I'll pick up another Grindhouse edition. I want to get, I think, From Beyond. or I think it's From Beyond or Beyond. Yeah, The Beyond. I believe so. Yeah, The Beyond. I want to get that one. Sorry, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, then we got my Criterions, and movies that kind of look like Criterions, I don't know if they are, but they fit better up here, so I just put them with my Criterions. And again, I uh, just have a small amount, gonna keep, it's gonna keep growing if it's a movie that I really wanna get, or one that I love. But I got Blowout, Boyhood, The Brood, Dressed to Kill, uh, this is not a Criterion, but it fits better up here. Gone Girl. Love that movie. And then The Social Network as well. So, Which I think that's out of print now. I got it used for a good price. Good condition. Um, and then the last one. Well, not the last one, but Videodrome. Love that. Love that movie. And then the last Criterion I own um, is The weekend? I own Rosemary's Baby on DVD, but I don't have the Blu-ray yet, so. But yeah, The weekend, or just weekend. And then my Disney collection is the last, and I'm not going to go through every one of these, uh, but what I did was mix my animated and live-action movies that I have on Disney, or have been released on Disney, uh, together. Uh, that doesn't count Marvel. I know Marvel and Disney work together. Um, I don't have those in with these. Um, I just have them in my other Blu-rays. Uh, everything else is alphabetized and they're different companies. But uh, for most part, this is all my Disney's I own on Blu-ray. Uh, it's going to keep growing. Uh, and then I'm just going to get movies that I absolutely love or childhood favorites. So uh, starting with 101 Dalmatians. And some have slipcovers and some don't, but the ones that don't have slipcovers, I got for a really good price, so I'm not going to be too picky. But a lot of them do have the slipcovers, and they look nice lined up. So, uh, as to the Looking Glass, I'll talk about that. Absolutely loved it. I know a lot of people tend to hate this one, but I actually preferred it over the first movie. So, and I got this on Black Friday for like $16.99. Uh, Disney, usually they're like over $20, so that was a good deal. Uh, Finding Dory. Uh, I found this movie to be kind of underrated this year uh, or last year. You know, people talked about it, but then it kind of drifted away, and a lot of people didn't really talk about it too much anymore. But I loved Finding Dory. Uh, the Finest Hour. Uh, you know, it, it's b bizarre that this movie was released by Disney. So I have it in my Disney collection, and it's kind of labeled as a Disney Blu ray. Uh, but it was a great movie. I really enjoyed it. I can't remember if it came out last year or the year before, but I thoroughly enjoyed this movie quite a lot. And then just some other ones. Uh, Jungle Book, the live action one, or live an yeah, live action one. Loved it. Uh, same with Pete's Dragon, uh, the live action one. Actually preferred it over Jungle Book. I loved it. And then I got two of the Pirates movies. I'm debating on getting 
uh, three and four. They're not my favorites, but the new ones coming out, I kind of want to rewatch them. Saving Mr. Banks, if you haven't seen it, great movie. Uh, Tomorrowland, another great one. I really enjoyed that. A little bit too long, but I still enjoyed it. Uh, the Tron movies, love these. I hope they'd make a third one. I, I doubt they are, but it'd be great if they did. And then the last Disney one is Zootopia. So, uh, one of my favorite movies of last year. Great movie. So that is basically how I've kind of changed things around slightly with my Blu-ray collection. Uh, again, I'll just kind of go through these and show you them without stopping. But it starts with Digibooks and ends with Disney Blu-rays. But yeah, I wanted to do something different, changed it up. I think it looks great. So going to go through these pretty quick. And there you guys are. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Talk to you later. You guys are awesome. You guys rock. And go eat some Skittles. And here is the rest of the Blu-rays. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.